Welcome back to the channel. It's Sunday, it's boot sale day. Off to Bolton. This is actually pre recorded, I've already been. Um, also, got some weekend sales and Facebook Marketplace pickup. Make sure you stay tuned and watch it all to find out what I've got. See you in a bit. Currently at the Bolton boot sale. To be honest, I probably should have stayed in bed today. It's it's been it's been bad only the one car park on and even that's about three quarters full normally both car parks are full sometimes even they open the third but today a bit of a washout but i've got a couple of decent pickups and hopefully some decent profit so uh i'll go through that when we're back home see you in a bit just got back from the boot sale and it, it was a, a washout but i've gone through some of the stuff we have got and even though there's only a few items you have got quite a decent amount of profit i believe but we'll go through what sold over the weekend and then i'll go into the weekly roundup first up i've got this remington ceramic straightener it's got extra wide length um it's practically brand new it's only been used once uh 25 quid and 2.99 postage i believe for that one i've had these up for about three four f four months now pretty much one of the first items i've ever listed and they just did not want to sell um i ended the listing tweaked some of the requirements and stuff like that and ended up managing finally 15 quid and 350 postage so it's weird because they was actually up for eight pound 50 at one point so it just showed by just ending the listing and creating a new one sometimes it does help boost it up on the feed um two untested xboxes are misplaced or sold the power supplies for these so they're untested they sold for 30 30 quid or 32 quid something like that but i'll put screenshots up on on the top bt phone that's about i think that was 12 pound all in and um, got a nintendo wii already boxed up and weighed and everything like that one of the ones from a grand's got the xbox which I picked up last week paid 10 for that's gone for 80 quid and seven pound postage. Uh, what else is in there? Well, and then also the TP Link router what I picked up last week for a pound. That sold for 53 quid, I think, or 52.50, as well as postage on top of that. So, um, all in, what well, was about 10, 20, 30, 32 quid all in and way well well over 100 pound back so should be at least 100 quid profit if not more just on those items alone so not too bad uh for this weekend and next up we'll go into the boot sale roundup got a little visitor for this one we've got two got the dog down there attacking me ikea bag oi yeah and then we've got maya as well so today we've got a total of eight pickups um i think it's the lowest i've ever come back with uh, from bolton boot sale but nevertheless there's some decent finds anyway first up i got a ps1 the other day so picked up this micro machines um i tend to always go to the seller for this one paid three quid um just to test really so i'll just keep that one also got the hdmi uh converter you know for testing wii's and playstation stuff like that i i've, I've pretty much got this exact same one and i paid i think 12 quid off amazon uh got that one for a pound so i think money's definitely safe with that one i'll probably keep it or chuck it in for a bundle to try and boost the listing i think i've paid 10 or 20p for that just to put some loose games in that i've got to keep it a bit more organized paid a pound for this volcano you can sell it for a tenner but uh my lad's well into stuff like that so i'll be keeping that one for christmas or birthdays harry potter smiggle lunch bag it's in mint condition it's in really good well looked after i think i paid a pound for that one as well so probably gonna put it up for about a tenner got devil old magic one wi-fi um so this is like wi-fi boosters helpers what run through um <laughs> yeah may is helping going you can pick the next one that runs through i think the cable in your house and all stuff like that it's also got ports on it and um, i paid a fiver and i've seen them sell for 70 quid but for me i have probably got to put it up for 45 50 hopefully get a quick sale essential spa foot spa brand new box um i paid i think i paid up to be honest i paid a tenner for it 
I've seen some of them selling for eight quid. I've seen some of them selling for thirty quid. Some of them selling for forty quid. I'll be putting it up for probably twenty five to thirty. Hopefully it sells. If not, I'll probably take an offer on it. Or if it misses, lucky she'll end up getting it for Christmas. And then finally, Innovo. Um, what's it called? Uh, restore the floor. Um, and I paid fifteen quid for this. So pelvic floor. I don't know if you. If, if there's any ladies watching, but uh, yeah, this is kind of for you after you've had a few kids, it's to increase your pelvic floor and whatnot. So from the actual site, I think they've sold for about 300 quid, some of these, but on eBay, brand new, some are selling for 70, some are selling for 80. I've seen some even up to 120, but I'll be going on the lower side to get a quick sale. So 70 or 80 quid on that one. Are you gonna say bye, Maya? Say bye bye, are you waving? No? No waving. Okay then. All right. <laughs> but I'll put the totals up on screen anyway of how much I paid and how much everything is valued at. So everything's packed up and ready. And to be honest, I do. It is my least satisfying job, like packing. I'd rather take a picture and listing than doing up boxes and all stuff like that. It's just so time consuming. But has to be done. So into the Facebook marketplace pickup. You'll have to let me know in the comments if I've done well or if I've done really bad with this one, but um, I'm 40 quid deep into it. So we've got the official Nintendo uh, DS charger, just a game case. Um, this, this one's pretty cool actually. It's like a rubberized game protector, stylus is, can go in there and stuff like that. Then we've got, this case is in mint condition. I don't know if it's new or if it's quite old, to be honest, but if it's one of the older ones, it's got to be worth at least a tenner, surely. And then in here, we've got the Nintendo DS. It's in immaculate condition. Like There's no scratches on that. That's just a bit of, like a bit of dust. Like it is in such a clean condition and that's one of the reasons why I've picked it up. Uh, works perfect, like literally no scratches at all. Uh, see if it's still got some charge in there. It's just so clean, it's so nice condition. I'm tempted to keep it for myself to be honest, but Mrs. won't be too happy about it. So, and then in here, there's also 20 games. Um, I'll get them all out and then I'll put it back on so you can see them. So these are the games. So you've got uh, two advanced games. I think they're about £9, £10 each in themselves. That one, Sims Herbs, is a £20 game. That's another £9 game. I think some of, them, some of them more of these are like £8 games and stuff like that. But... Um, the vast majority of my problems bundle in with the DS when I'm selling it and everything else. Probably hope to get about £65 on that. And then some of these rarer ones that are £8 plus, um, I'll be selling them all individually. But I do think I'll be able to, in total, get over £100 back on that. So hopefully double my money. So let me know if you, <laughs> you think any different down below anyway. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with, it. pleased with it. It looks pretty cool as well. I'm just really impressed with that case. But yeah, nice one. If you did enjoy today's video, uh, let me know in the comments below and please don't forget to give it a, a like and a subscribe, it'll be a massive help. I think we're on 21 subscribers now in about a week or so, so I'm really chuffed with it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we might be able to get 50 by the end of the year, but we'll see. Anyway, nice one. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.